giant. Steel giant? You will instruct the steel giant to cease its destructive activities and surrender at once. Hold on! What the hell is this steel giant? An invader. It came here with an accomplice who escaped our grasp. Another descendant of the Mua, like yourselves. In fact, he wore the exact same symbol as you. You're saying he had the SRF emblem on him? We believed we had captured his ship. But apparently, yours was merely a vessel of the same design. However, your vessel also bore precious specimens. Two, in fact. Thus is the will of the gods. The same design. The same emblem? So, he actually was here after all. I think I finally understand the cause of all the damage we've seen on this ship. Everything is because of this steel giant's destructive activities. It's no wonder the Cardianon paid us so little attention. In any event, you are to be used as specimens. You will enlighten the giant before you are disposed of. Heed my words and instruct it immediately. Surrender at once! Fine. You want some instruction, huh? Edge! My name is Edge Maverick! I'm a friend of Crow's! Listen! I have no idea who or what you are, but if you came here with Crow... Don't hold anything back! Smash this ship to pieces! The Cardian Honor are insane! We do not understand your actions. You will remain in confinement here until your punishment has been decided. <laughs> Uh, um, sorry? There's no need to apologize. Frankly, I feel relieved. You sure told him. Edgy, you're so cool. Yep, just like you, Edge. Though I do think you went a little bit overboard. What these Cardianon are doing just isn't right. I know you would have acted the same way, Crow. I don't know, but if I had to venture a guess, I'd say it's probably the Cardianon's steel giant. Uh, it's coming this way. Marcus D-79 of the Morphus. Please, come with me. W wait a minute! Just like that, you expect us to follow you? Hmm. So you must be Mr. Edge Maverick. Huh? Your voice print data matches that of the call broadcast throughout this ship earlier. Let us go then, Mr. Edge Maverick. Just hold on a second, okay? First, I want to say thanks for coming to help us. And next, there's something I need to ask you. 
The thirst for knowledge always presents chances to gain insight. As a humble scientist, I would like nothing more than to answer your questions. However, our current reality does not permit leisurely conversation. Let us go, Mr. Edge Maverick. Fair enough. I'll save the questions for later, Mr. Bacchus. As you wish, Mr. Edge Maverick. Incidentally, please feel free to call me Bacchus. Will do, Bacchus. Likewise, you can just call me Edge. As you wish, Mr. Edge. No, I mean... Ugh, never mind. So, where are we going? The central isolation chamber. There I can fulfill my duty. Your... duty? The objects known as the Epiphanies of Guidance. It is my duty to put an end to them. I see. Well, that's convenient. Hmm? Uh, just, we need to be getting there ourselves. It's bigger than the one on Lemuris. So this is the Grigori. Everyone, please step back. I have never had an opportunity to destroy a Grigori before, but this should be sufficient. What? Hey! B Bacchus! Cover your ears. So the explosive power of a specialized warhead was sufficient. My calculations were correct. They must have been very, uh, precise calculations. Well, anyway, our work here is done. Now the Cardianon will... <laughs> What's that? It's the Cardianon from before! If you keep this up, you'll meet the same fate as your home planet! We have become gods! The epiphanies of guidance have made us gods! You're not becoming gods! You're becoming irrational monsters! Nobody should want that! The epiphanies of guidance have made us all who are one! All who are one! Gods! Gods of the cosmos! It's no use, Edge. He's not going to listen to anything we say. What? What? Inferior beings, you shall be crushed unto dust! What is happening to him? Wait, this is... Yes, what we saw in Lemuris. Edgy's still mad. Huh? Well, honey, I think Edge wanted to be able to save him, you know? Edge truly is an impressive man, isn't he? I don't really get it. 
but I know those rocks are worse than the baddest bad guy. So I'm not going to be mad at these people anymore, okay? And you're just as impressive, Limmel. Let's hurry to the reactor, people! We're gonna shut that tractor beam down and get out of here! Right! Look out! Bacchus! Bacchus, are you all right? Operation Level C. Repair feasible. I have slightly limited use of my left leg and right arm, but it is not a problem. <sighs> Ooh, you big dummy. I was so scared. But... Thank you, Kay. You saved our lives. It is nothing to concern yourselves with. I have only done what should be expected of a comrade. I see. Can you walk? Locomotion may prove somewhat difficult, but I will manage. Don't push yourself. Help me out here, FaZe. Of course. You, you are indeed as heavy as you look. Forgive me. I am in your debt. Don't worry about it. You saved our lives. This is nothing. I'm afraid he really is heavy. That's the weight of our lives, FaZe. Deal with it. Believe me, I am. I'm finished here. Me too. Then this... Uh, should do it. Generator shutdown confirmed. And the tractor beam is down. It's a success. Now what? I don't know. We just shut down the generator, so there shouldn't be... Allow me to investigate. Lemel. Would you mind climbing down for a moment? Okay. I have detected the activation of an emergency power system. A countdown to warp seems to have been initiated. A countdown to warp? Huh? It would appear to be an emergency evacuation system built into the Cardianon mothership. Evacuation? To where? I'm unable to locate the preset coordinates in my database. I believe it is uncharted space, to which no established routes exist. And at this rate, we'll be taken along with it when the countdown ends. Yes. And if we are cast away into such uncharted space, there is an exceedingly high probability that we will never be able to return. Wait, what? Please do not worry. My search of our surroundings shows an emergency bypass up ahead. Please use it to escape and return to your ship. Bacchus, you're not... As you can see, my present condition will not allow rapid movement. Please, forget about me, and go quickly. D do you really think we're going to leave you? With your assistance, I have successfully fulfilled my duty. I have no particular... What? No, Baki. You're coming with us, Kay. Please, don't concern yourselves. It's not as if I'm going to die. Even if not, you'll still never be able to return, correct? That might as well be death! Mr. Edge, I believe you are the ranking officer among all those present. It is your duty to make a realistic decision for yourself and your crew. Please think rationally. 
What you see before you is nothing more than broken scrap. Feel free to cast it aside, without any feelings of guilt. Uh, no! Don't be ridiculous! You aren't scrap to us at all! You sacrificed your own safety to save our lives! You're our friend! Miss Raimi... No, it is not to be. Please release my hand and hurry. No, I won't! We're getting out of here together and that's final! I'm helping too. I don't want to lose a friend. I would be so sad, Kane. Lemo. Ah, you'd better just give up, Bacchus. Once my old childhood pal and this little girl here get going, there's really no stopping them. I think it would be best if we all leave together, don't you? And I believe you said it yourself. Only doing what should be expected of a comrade, was it? <laughs> this might get a little bumpy, but you can deal with it, right? He's rather sturdy. I think he can deal with it. You... what do you think you're trying to... Whoa! Whoa! We're out of time! Make a dead run for the countless people! And don't let go of our friend here! Yes, yes sir! sir. Between you and Mr. Crow, uh, I've certainly met some outrageous people lately. Uh, not that I'm complaining! Uh. Just a little further! Keep going, people! Uh, I'm barely... Uh, This is it! The final stretch! Oh no! It's gonna close! Uh, enough already! Put me down at once and go! I thought we'd been through this! Don't make us waste our breath with your nonsense, Bacchus! Huh? Uh, why are you stopping? You'll be trapped here as well! You're not the red-haired man after all. Huh? Hmm, I wonder who that was. It looks like she used a lightning symbol. I don't think she was a guardian on. Red-haired man? Did she mean... I'm afraid I can only see the ceiling, and thus I'm at a loss to fully digest the current situation. But I believe we had best hurry. Uh, that's right! Move it, people! Disappeared. It warped, Lemo, along with all the Grigori's secrets. The Cardianon were conducting acts of aggression through use of the Grigori. That cannot be condoned. But... If there were no Grigori, the Cardianon would have evolved normally. They wouldn't have invaded Lemuris. If there were no Grigori... The Grigori are gone. The Cardianon said it himself, remember? It was their final epiphany. Yeah, but... Edgy, nothing like what happened to my home will ever happen again. That's all that matters, Kay. Limmel. You're right. 
I guess we actually were able to protect Lemuris this time. We were. I'm really glad. Edge, you haven't done a single thing wrong since you took command. I think you should try trusting yourself for a change. Just let yourself be Edge. Good old Edge. Okay? You've got to be optimistic, right? Yeah, we do. I'm counting on you guys, all right? Key. Mr. Crow. The friend of whom you were so proud truly is a straight arrow. Being with him and his crew, it makes warmth radiate throughout even my cold steel body. Something the matter, Master? Uh... What exactly do you think you're doing? <laughs> Cute, don't you think? <clears throat> it's a Victorian maid outfit. I found it in some historical literature. Literature? Yep. I was flipping through some history books, and apparently men love being addressed as... Master. Well, did you? Uh, hold on. I'm not sure I really get this. Why would men enjoy being called Master? Hmm, I don't know. They're really old books. Okay, how about I try this? Yeah! Tra-la-la, I love you, big brother! <laughs> uh... <laughs> Enjoy that? Okay, I'm getting more and more confused here. Big brother? I don't even have a little sister. Take a good look here. I'm not just the little sister type. I have glasses on. Glasses! Is that supposed to mean something? I don't know. What were people thinking back then? What were they trying to leave future generations with literature like that? Beats the heck out of me. That was a long time ago. Well, anyway, what's important to us is the here and now. We do live in the present, after all. True. Let's not get hung up on the past. Live in the moment. Reflection is at times necessary. There are always new discoveries to be made by studying history. People's behavior accumulates and thus becomes history. It is our responsibility to pass that on to the future. Yes, as the witnesses to that history. Anyway, let's get back to that item creation. Aye, aye, sir! Swordsmanship's gotten a heck of a lot better, FaZe. Maybe that's why I suddenly feel like I'm itching for some action. In that case, may I trouble you for a match? Just the words I wanted to hear. Is a single match all right? Yes. Very well. On guard! I expected no less, Edge. But I did think I'd be able to last a bit longer. No. It was really close, Face. If I'd reacted even a second slower, I would have lost. 
Don't be so modest. I'm the one who lost. I can tell just how much stronger you are. I'll just have to practice more. Will you spar with me again sometime? Of course. But next time, I'll have gotten stronger too. <laughs> you really are something, Edge. This is exactly what makes you worth aspiring towards. Just a cat, huh? Meow, meow, meow. But you know what? We don't have any cats. Hold it, you perv! I'm not letting you get away with this. Meow, meow, meow! Sorry, I still don't get it. How are those glasses any different from your old ones? <laughs> a real man notices the subtle changes in a girl's couture choices. Come on over here, take a nice close look. You're kidding, right? They haven't changed at all. <gasps> ah! Nice! Well played! How about it, Bezerino? Can you tell? Just a moment. Let me take a closer look. Go! Huh? <gasps> what? 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? Just suddenly jumping out like that! What are you doing over here? What are you doing over here? <laughs> Could this be the first signs of L O V E? Show on you up some more. <laughs> if you're tired, Lim, shouldn't you sleep in your room? What's wrong? Edgy, I want to take nappy time with you, okay? Huh? Grandpa would always take nappy time with me, okay? When I'm alone, I feel so lonely. Um, uh... What in the world am I doing, hiding like this? Limmel, you're a big girl now. Go to your own room, okay? <sighs> She's out cold. What are you doing? Ah! Taking nappy time, Kay. If you're tired, you really should sleep in your own room. It's unfair to Edge. It's none of your beeswax, Baze. I want to take nappy time with Edgy. <sighs> you really are a baby, aren't you, Limmel? Mm, I'm not a baby, Kay. I call a girl your age who can't sleep by herself quite a baby indeed. Baze, you big dummy. Fine. I'll sleep alone, Kay. <laughs> if 
you'll excuse me. What's up with those two, anyway? <laughs> Only good friends can fight like that. And what does that mean? <laughs> 